This is fermented tofu I made in November. I season them with chili, pepper, and salt. Put in a glass jar. In three weeks, it's ready to eat. They even taste better if I add in some wine and sesame oil. You see, my fermented tofu look like this after seasoning. But during the fermenting process, I encountered something the first time. The color of the mood is blue, which I have never seen before. It looks suspicious. Usually, I get light colors between white and yellow. This time, I covered with a lid which has a hole. Also allowing lots of air circulation on the edge. Maybe it's overexposed to oxygen. After a few days, the blue color got darker, somewhere between blue and gray. I wasn't sure, so I smelled the mood, as I always trusted my nose. It smells like the moss in the forest, very different from rotten fruits. My fermenting process is very clean, with no contamination. I did a search online and learned that moods could come in a variety of colors and shades: white, green, blue, pink, yellow, purple. Red or black. It's common to see blue-colored mood in Pacific Northwest, BC, Canada. Depending on the regional weather, room temperature, and humidity, the mood colors change a great deal. The possible reason for this blue color is that during winter. I only open my door and windows for about thirty minutes a day. Not much indoor fresh air. In the summer and spring time, my door and windows are open all day, for at least eight hours. The quality of air is different. Anyhow, I decided that it's healthy and edible. So I seasoned the fermented tofu with ingredients. After seasoning, the color of blue mood faded. A few days later, I bought some grounded brown chili pepper. This smell very nice. So I added some to the tofu and also added more salt. They look beautiful. And smell delicious. Fermented tofu is an appetizer. Even it's very tasty. Just eat a little occasionally. If you have kidney or heart disease, it's better not to eat them at all.